Hi guys, it's Ashley. Um, as you can see, I look a lot different from what I looked like in my last video. Um, I am doing my Cinegly Swiss again. Um, this is about my fourth set of Cinegly Swiss. I love them and this is like the best winter protective style for me. So they are going back in. So, um, so I started clearly. And um, I still have a lot more to go. The whole back section isn't done at all. Um, I've been working on the front. And I made sure this time that I'm recording it for you. Because I know that it's something that most of you want to see. Um, that have subscribed to my channel. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So the first step would be to obviously make sure that your hair is cleansed and... Um, you want to make sure that your hair is proper. Like you don't want your hair to be like dry and breaking and stuff like that. So if you have, if you're still dealing with, um, you know, the moisture content of your hair and like, you know, if it's weak and it, it needs some protein, then like you want to make sure that you do all of that before you um, do something like Just like don't even try it because... If anything, it's not going to protect your hair. It's like if your hair is not in good order, you it, it's just going to like make it worse because you're you can't directly like moisturize your hair. So if you don't know your hair, don't do the twist yet. Like give it, you know, work on it. So work up to it. So do a lot of like hot oil treatments and like stuff like that before you think to do cynically twists. So um, yeah. Now that that disclaimer is out of the way. Um, I want to talk to you about, um, you know, when you get the hair and cutting it and like organizing it and, you know, how to get nice ends that aren't, um, you know, blunt and ends that don't unravel and stuff like that. And I'm also going to show you how I do the, how I start from twists. I don't start with a braid. I start with a twist. And the reason I do that is because I feel like it's the most natural thing and it lays better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. There's lots of videos on YouTube that um, demonstrate how to do that. So I'm going to, you know, link that in the bottom and stuff like that throughout the series just so you can like refer to it like if you needed some backup. Um, so yeah, first thing is the type of hair that I use. I use expressions and um, I know a lot of people um, that I've kind of looked at that do cynically twists use expressions and the first time I heard about it was I was watching um, Fusion of Cultures her video on cynically twists and her braidstress uses uh, expressions and I love the way that her twists look like if you haven't seen Layla's twist do it um, Look it up. It, they're amazing. So, expressions. And the color that I use, you can see, is 1B. Um, I also use a 2. And a 2 in in this weave is not, like, it's not as light as what a 2 might look like in wefted hair. So, this is what the 2 looks like. It's not, it's not even that. And this is in the light, so you know, like, it's not hectic. Like, it's... It's a good color. It, it will match. Um, so, um, I do have a one, but I'm not using it for this set. And to be honest, I don't really like it that much. Um, the one is kind of, it's really dark. So if you like jet black hair, then do it. And one B is more of a natural black. And this is more of a, it's, it's black, but it's like, it's brown, really. Um, expressions. The length of it is 82 inches, okay? So it's it's long. It's it's longer than the packaged hair that you might um, see the braiding hair. This is long. It's comes in a long package, and I like this hair because I do really long twists. Like these twists go down to my hip, so I feel like it's easier to work with. And if it's too lo well, obviously it's too long. Like you're not gonna have twists. If you didn't cut this hair at all, you'd have twists like to your feet. So <laughs> I do cut it. Um, 
yeah, so I just take it out the packaging, and then you have, you're going to have two pieces like this. So the next thing I do is I cut, I cut it here just so the elastic is holding on to the other um, end. And then you're going to have um, one half. You're going to have one half of it, which is like this, and then I just folded it like that. Okay. The next thing I did is I cut it. I cut about a little bit off one side, either side, it doesn't really matter. So I cut about that much off because you're going to, you're going to pull on the hair. So you're going to have, um, you're going to have this, right? So the next thing is you want to start um, separating it. What you could do, the slower route, is once you part it, then you then you pick a piece, and then you pull it, and then you do another part, and then you pick a piece, and then you pull it. You could do that, or you could just separate the pieces and pull it, and so that when you're parting, you could just take it up, twist, take it up, twist. I feel like that is the fastest way to get through doing your head. And if you have a lot of hair on your head, do this way, okay? Um... So yeah, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so what I did was I took that um, bundle of hair that I had and then I laid them out. I took pieces, smaller pieces, and then I laid it out on a flat surface. So then pretty much what you're doing in order to get um, the ends to be pointy and not blunt, because say if you took a piece of hair that you're twisting and you just left it like that. Then your ends will be blunt. And then when you twist it, what actually happens is when you get to the end, it's it's a thick end. And your end is going to look pretty much like that. And um, I find that that doesn't necessarily, personally for me, like it doesn't look natural. Or it doesn't, it's not like a smooth transition like how your, your natural hair would be. If you twisted it, it's going to um, taper down. So I feel like... Um, with doing with making the ends um what by pulling them it will get the ends to kind of thin out so what i do to do that is i take the end this is one end and i literally i just i pull on it like that so you see the end becomes something like this and then i do that to the other side i pull on it And you see naturally some of the hair, it separates. And then you get something that's pointy. So then when you twist it, it comes down to a nice tapered look. And I feel like, um, or this is good because when you're twisting it, it doesn't unravel. Because it's just like if you get like a fresh haircut and you have blunt ends. And then if you braid it or you twist it, it's going to um, unravel. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And... I'm just going to show you guys how I twist it now. Okay guys, so I'm going to be twisting the hair now. So I have a section at the front, right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate this section of hair into two, okay? So one section here, one section here. I'm going to take the hair, like so. So one end is going to be a longer than the other. Because I like to join the two ends and have an end that looks something like this. Okay? So I take the two pieces and I join. I join the fake hair with it. So fake hair, my hair on this side. Fake hair, my hair on this side. Okay? So then I take the hair and the fake hair, My, I take both hairs, and I'm going to be twisting this side this way. Okay, I'm going to be twisting this side this way. So I'm going to be twisting it to the left. And I twirl it like that, okay? And then I'm going to be taking the other side, the other piece, and I'm going to be twisting it in the other direction. Okay, so you're twisting it in the other direction. 
and then you're going to have something like this. Okay? Then what you do is you t I'm going to take this side to the other side, like that. And then keep twirling it. But you're twirling and you're twisting at the same time until your hair latches on. So my hair is latched on. And then what you're going to be doing now is you're going to be twirling it and then twisting it. And you're going to be doing that the whole way down. So you twirl it and then you cross it. Twirl it and twist, twirl it and twist. Now what I do throughout the twist, I do it maybe once or twice in a twist. And I feel like this doing this is going to help me to um, help it to not unravel and for it to uh, mix together well. What I do is I take one end and I split it in two and I take another end and I split it in two. So you're going to have four pieces. There's four pieces here. Four pieces. And then I take one end and I cross it over to the other and I mix it. But your twists, they just they go together smoother and it's it's better that way. Okay, so that's what my twist is looking like, and I'm going to continue.